I made a YouTube community post where I talked about someone who insisted that Trump would be a dictator on day one and provided me with evidence. I reviewed the evidence, and the evidence was a quote where it was obvious that Trump was telling people who don't vote, hey, go vote this time. You don't have to vote the next time, but go vote this time, because this time it's really important. Somehow they took, you won't have to vote next time, or you don't have to next time, as Trump will make it so that the Constitution is invalidated and he is a dictator. The problem is not with this. I already debunked that piece of evidence. I didn't debunk the entire notion, just that piece of evidence. I like to think that I'm somewhat logical, and that I think things through, and that I critically think about things, and that I analyze things before I adopt them as my worldview. I do not hold second-hand opinions with no intellectual capital invested. This person saying, oh, Jody is a Trump supporter, I guess I have to unsubscribe now, oh, that's too bad. Get out. Leave. I don't care. Get out. It's fine. Get out. I don't want you here. Because if you're that big of an idiot that you go, oh, he debunked one piece of evidence used for a really ridiculous hyperbolic statement that was obviously taken in the worst possible faith, just so that someone could say, oh, Trump is going to be a dictator on day one and somehow invalidate the U.S. Constitution that he actually adhered to for four years straight. If you're that insane that you can't understand something that fundamental, that logical, that doesn't support Trump, it supports reality, logic, facts. It's a simple, critical thinking process. Not, oh, I support Trump because I think he's going to suck my balls. No, it's simple, critical thinking. And if you have a problem with that, I don't care. Get out if you don't want to watch my content. You do not have to announce your departure. I am not an airport. Feel free to leave at any time. Now, if you like my sassy, sort of biting, uh, smarmy, asshole, intellectual, whatever style, then feel free to stick around, because I'm more than happy to punch down at all of these morons who think that somehow they show up and say, Oh, I've done subscribe now. Uh, uh, sorry, you know what? I, there's a 4chan meme that encapsulates this perfectly. It's Beavis on the computer with a headset, and it says, I understand your frustration, but I'm still voting for Trump. That's kind of how I feel about it. Anybody who tells me, oh, I'm not going to watch your YouTube channel if you don't vote how I think. You are the reason that I would not vote the way that you're trying to bully me to be. I would rather vote against you than for whoever, because you are a bad person. Yes, if you choose not to think critically, if you choose to believe things that are toxic, hyperbolic, radical, psychotic, then I'm more than happy to resist you. I'm more than happy to tell you to stick it where the sun don't shine and leave my channel. Feel free to unsubscribe. By the way, if you're subscribed to me, and somehow you missed the unsubscribe-a-thon that I posted last year, go watch it again. I think you really should. I think you should watch it, and you should absorb it fully, especially the part with Carcom. Take it easy. For those of you who aren't morons and actually choose to stick around, more to come. Um, but not out of my car. Uh, okay, we're going to take this uncomfortable conversation and cut it off.